All right, here to talk about one of my favorite um, tools that Phineas has is the stability snorkel. And I basically never go to the pool without this thing. I always start my warm up with it, so I swim about the first thousand meters of every swim with this. And I think the big thing that I like about it, well, there's multiple, but one of the big ones is it sets me up for the swim ahead that I'm doing. So I'm able to focus on more, to get my body position right, get my head position right, start to get the feel for the water and the turning of it and stuff. And I also really like the feature how it is more shaped to your head. So you don't have to worry as much when you're doing your flip turns, the water doesn't really get in and stuff. And it really allows you, I find some snorkels, when you put your head down deep, it goes under, but this one still has a lot of air. So you're not concerned about the water going in when you get your head in the proper position and it really stays there which is a really nice tool. And it's super comfortable with this setup here. So the main reason why this is called the stability snorkel is actually, once you put it on your head, it stays in that position. I've found in the past a lot of different snorkels, they move all over when you push off the wall or you push off the wall and have to readjust it back in. But because of how the placement is in this, it's really comfortable first off. And then second off, just goes straight on the forehead. It's not moving outside of my glasses, but there's nothing there. It stays put, so the stability is really good. Um, this is a huge tool that I use for drills as well. So a couple times a week, a lot of my swims are drill focused. So I put this on whenever I'm ready to do drills because I feel like it really allows me not to have to be concerned about reach, getting up for air for a lot of the drills. So what I use this for with some of my drills is obviously the sculling is really good. I find without a snorkel, you only can do a little couple sculls, then you gotta get up and you break your body position. This you can put on and you're just able the whole time to work the feel and find the feel of the water. Another one is just the, the underwater sculling I really like. And another one too is for me is like kicking on your side. It allows me to find that position, the balance right, without having to hurry up and reach and try to go, that I can actually really spend the time to focus with the head in position, getting the constant airflow that I need with it like this, just keep the rhythm going. So it takes the concern of needing to breathe out of it you have it a constant source right here without turning your head and breaking body position that you're ultimately working for. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't have this in your gear bag, to be honest. For me, it's just like, it just really allows me to set up my stroke for the whole, the whole swim. And I think it's really important to find that feel and everything. And then for me too, actually, this is, when I'm traveling and I'm limited with space, I always am still bringing this. If I go overseas and you're in jet lag, body out of body feel, I put this on and I feel like it allows me at least to get back towards that normal body position in the water and find some feel and take out some of the extra stress that you have with the breathing. Outside of the standard suit and goggles, I think this is the next uh, tool that every, not just triathlete, but swimmer needs. Because I feel like if you go to a, I don't know, like the top swimming groups in the, in the, in the world, every single swimmer has a snorkel next to them and you see them warming up with it or doing sets with it and i feel like the whole premises of it is just to bring you really find that feel in the water and um, just become one with the water because that's ultimately what you're after is becoming one and not fighting the water and this allows to take some of that fight out of it to set yourself up then when you're ready to swim so for me i always start with this put it on and then take it off and try to keep that rhythm that I've built with this and just to start to incorporate the breath. Because you got all the patterns and the positions, so now you try to keep that pattern when you remove this.